I, so I think they uh, they appreciate it. Um, I, I think particularly because it's New York. I mean, there go back to the sort of uh, sports tradition and history here. I think most people sort of recognize um, what what sort of history of competition has existed in New York and, and how New Yorkers view, view sports. Um, so it just coming onto the world stage, whether it's like watching a basketball game at MSG, it's, it's, it's like no other, right? Like it's the only sports, it's the only city in, in, in America that has two professional franchises in every sport. There's just like something here, it's hard not to uh, recognize. I think if our roster maybe doesn't yet understand the intricacies of the New York-Boston baseball rivalry that he's talking about, like one, I think they will come to understand that through living in New York pretty quickly. But two, I think they do understand yeah. that New York is a world-class city and it's meaningful to represent that city. In fact, the one thing that they say that they get nervous about is <laughs> representing, representing New York New because of sort of, not so much the expectation, but the amount of sort of focus and eyeballs that you, that you get on yourself. But that also, I think, drives them when we talk to them about it. Um, all right, I'm gonna pick Mecco. Uh, I legitimately think he's the best off-take player in the world. And I think there are a lot of players that are looking for uh, sort of tips on how to play that role better. And I think watching him play really helps with that because it shows that his strategy tends to not be to go out and get kills on the other team or to pick off the enemy team's Farah with his D.Va or something. But you see him peel the support players and tank players on our team in a way that other off-tank players don't. And you see his map awareness and his ability to come out of nowhere and defense matrix a uh, tracer pulse bomb that you didn't even see coming and like he makes those plays so consistently that it's just amazing to me so i think players that are really trying to figure out how to play that role can learn an awful lot from him like he's saying it's about their personalities right like certain players are like into american fashion labels and certain players are into mexican food right like i think different players have latched on to the cultural differences in sort of different ways and it's really fun to see like how those are and how they change from player to player and like just getting to know our, our roster better i think is really what it's about and then the players knowing each other allows them to sort of do these things in groups right. um in a way they might feel a little bit more uh, hesitant to do on their own if they're venturing without anyone who they're comfortable with. Like Pine and Mecco, I think we're really into the Mexican food that we went <coughs> to uh, a few nights ago. Like I know Pine has tweeted about it a bunch of times that like he loves nachos. Um, I think also Mecco and JJ Jonak uh, have been really into like the fashion that's available in LA. Um, there's a few labels that they've specifically kind of latched onto and it's just cool to see that stuff sort of develop and bubble up. For more Overwatch interviews and analysis, subscribe to our channel. You can also find stats, discussions, and more on our website and mobile app at blitzesports.com.